afternoon everyone. As you can see, I'm with the one and only Mike T. Mike, you've been away from YouTube recently and uh, just wondering exactly what it is that you're up to. Well, funny enough, thanks for asking. I've been doing a lot of coaching. Um, so Saturdays, I've not really got the chance to film games. I've been more at games, prepping the team, getting them prepared for their for their match at three o'clock. Um, so right now I'm with Punjab United. I've been helping them out the last six weeks. Obviously, it's the back end of October. Um, so yeah, it's nice, man. We're at Erif, Erif Town today, so looking forward to this. It's a nice pitch, nice grand. Um, yeah, looking forward to this one. Set up my coaching area. Or, or well, yeah, you've just mentioned that. So if I could just start, you've just combed it off slightly. Can I ask exactly what it is that you've got planned? So the players will come in, they'll mess around amongst themselves, kick a ball around as you do, um, just to get warm. And then at a specific time, I'll bring them in and we'll start over here. We'll run, get their heart rate up, uh, or sorry, jog first, but via running. Um, get their heart rate up and then obviously look to progress it, adding some more dynamic movements in there. They'll probably break off, do some stretching. Um, from there, they'll they'll come into this area here, which is a bigger square, um, and they'll just be knocking the ball around. First, probably amongst themselves, and then I get them to go against each other. So it's basically a bit of keep ball amongst yourself. How many passes can we do? Can I reduce it to shorter touches? So a lot of these boys have been guilty of having a lot of touches on the ball. So today, in that specific warm-up at the start, I will probably reduce it to maximum of three, or maybe then I'll drop it to two, and then I'll let them have all in. And can I ask a question in specific to the weather conditions that we face now? Obviously, as you're aware, it gets much colder this time of the year. So when you do a warm-up pre-game, are you looking for the heart rate to be up as much as possible, or for players just to be warm? Definitely, it's cold, it's cold, so yeah, I, ideally, like I say, they'll come out, do their thing, but then that's it. Once they get into that warm-up phase, you want to keep their, keep them active, keep them as busy as possible. Um, and yeah, definitely it's cold, so the muscles need to be well stretched. For older players, it's more important for the young than the younger players, but it's not less important for the younger players because if they want to reach the maximum of their own ability, they would stretch to the maximum of their capabilities. Um, so the warm-up's very important, and especially on a cold day. If it's a warm day, you can do a lot more or get away with a lot more because the, the, the blood's flowing, it's hot through your body, so your muscles are already quite warm, if you will, whereas on the cold day, you need to activate them. So, yeah, I'm hoping that we'll get them activated today. And, um, yeah, that's for the coaching side of things, playing side or players' performance, that's a different that's a different thing. Well, so we can expect some more videos up on the channel over the next few weeks, yeah. coming months. Yeah, I've just been busy, innit? So I can't really do this and then film at the same time and then... Like, so another question would be, have you been attending your FA uh, tutorials and uh, seminars? Are you, are you up to speed with everything uh, in terms of the FA's DNA? Yeah, I guess I'd like to think I am. Um, I've still got a couple more bits and bobs to do. Um, obviously, doing my UEFA B and UEFA A, that would be the next major steps, or maybe my Youth Mod 3, um, that would be good. Um, but I always look at like different little courses like that you can find online, like developing the environment or something like might be a futsal course or something. Because at the end of the day, I can learn something from anything, but not just football. Like I, I look at other sports as well. So uh, NFL, for instance, they have defensive coaches, they have attacking coaches that are specific to those drills uh, or those points of play. Um, and football in the future will go the same. So it's about how you can develop any sort of sport and put it into your own sport, basically. Well, that's great. That's fair enough, Mike T. We wish you good luck for today. Cheers, man. And, uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not normally on this side of the camera, so I'm a bit, bit shy and nervous and that, man. <laughs> <laughs>